LeBron James officially opts out of his contract and is now a free agent. Hey guys, it's Sophie Julia here for The Fumble. To find out the hottest sports news and gossip, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join our notification squad. To absolutely nobody's surprise, LeBron James is a free agent. James has decided to decline his $35.6 million player option for the 2018-2019 season with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Although he will become an unrestricted free agent, this move doesn't necessarily mean that he won't be a Cav next season. The man wants to explore his options, and hey, who doesn't like to have options? It's still unclear which teams the King is going to sit down with, but the buzz says that his list of suitors isn't too long. In March, The Ringer reported that the Cavs, Lakers, Rockets, and Sixers will be the only teams on his radar. The New York Times added that the San Antonio Spurs head coach, Greg Popovich, with whom LeBron is tight with, is bound to try to force his way into the conversation to sell James on the merits of South Texas. Still, LeBron's camp hasn't given any hints as to who they'll meet with and how serious they're considering certain destinations. After Game 4 of the NBA Finals, James told the media, I have no idea at this point. The one thing that I've always done is consider my family, understanding especially where my boys are at at this point in their age. They were a lot younger the last time I made a decision like this four years ago. I got a teenage boy, a preteen, and a little girl right now that wasn't around as well. So sitting down and considering everything, my family is a huge part of whatever I've decided to do in my career, and they'll continue to be that. So I don't have an answer for you right now as far as that. Given the Cavs roster and how they fared this time around in the NBA Finals, people are assuming James is bound to leave Cleveland behind once again. I have a feeling that whichever city he chooses to move his family to, if it's a new one, it won't be too hard for his children to fit in. Being LeBron James's kid is pretty much a guaranteed popular vote. The city getting the most buzz around landing LeBron? The City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. The Lakers are fighting tooth and nail to get a trade done for Kawhi Leonard and lure talent to play alongside LeBron. Apparently, the King isn't interested in elaborate pitches or being wooed this time around, but wants to analyze the nuts and bolts of basketball operations. LeBron has one goal and that is to dethrone the Golden State Warriors for the NBA championship, and he's going to need the right people around him. I think the Lakers are gonna pull off the Kawhi trade and get the James gang to move out here, and there's already some clues hinting in that direction. LeBron already owns a house in Los Angeles, and now he's taking extra precautions to protect his home. A tweet from Sam Amico said, Security cameras being set up in front of LeBron's Los Angeles home today so that the home can be monitored by police in his current hometown of Bath, Ohio. Perhaps announcement is not far off. It's unclear why he's beefing up his house security. Maybe he thinks if he signs with the Cavs again, Lakers fans who had their hopes up will vandalize his house. Or maybe he's going to sign with the Lakers and it's gonna be such a celebration that his property will get trashed by partying. Either way, we won't have to wait too long to find out. Another clue that's tipping the scales in LA's favor? A rumor that LeBron's 13-year-old superstar son is very likely to enroll at Sierra Canyon School in LA. Sierra Canyon's team is loaded with the children of NBA legend. Scottie Pippen and Kenyon Martin's kids are there, along with the nephew of Derek Fisher. It's not confirmed yet, but the school is holding a spot for him and probably crossing their fingers too, as Bronny is the best 13-year-old baller in the country. The school itself isn't too shabby either. It's a private school in the San Fernando Valley where Kendall and Kylie Jenner Ireland Baldwin and Willow Smith once occupied the classrooms. Also, Marvin Badgley, the number two overall pick in the NBA draft, played his high school ball days at Sierra Canyon before heading off to Duke. This seems to be a two-horse race for LeBron, with the Cavs and the Lakers. The Sixers are expected to make a strong push and have one of the best young cores in the league, but it might not get too far. The Houston Rockets are pretty much out of the running now too. With James opting out, it's gonna be very hard for them to afford both him and sign Chris Paul, unless both wanna take a pay cut. And if LeBron is looking for more money, the Cavs are able to sign him to the biggest deal available in a super max contract of five years, $207.4 million. Damn, even I'd live in Cleveland for that. He officially becomes a free agent on July 1st, and deals are able to be signed on July 6th, once the moratorium is over. He's expected to make his decision by July 4th, and one lucky city will be singing God Bless America. For the hottest sports news and gossip, like, subscribe, and comment below, and be sure to shop the Fumble store for the latest sports gear.